Good morning! This is Rose Domingo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Wow, a year ago, I already have a video regarding uh, the benefits of the senior citizens in the Philippines. Today, I would like to make some update list of senior citizen benefits in the Philippines. said here it is crucial for senior citizens in the Philippines to be informed of the benefits that they can acquire from their government and private organizations because the number of senior citizens in the country is growing at an alarming rate people in the Philippines who have attained a particular age threshold are eligible for a wide variety of senior citizens benefits however despite the fact that there are laws and organizations in place to deliver these advantages it is essential that the people who will be receiving them namely our elderly population to understand the significance of each and take advantage of them to the best extent possible. What are some of the top senior citizens benefits in the Philippines? The senior citizens in the Philippines are afforded a broad variety of rights, discounts, and perks from both the public and private sectors of the country's economy. These include reduction in the cost of medications and medical services, access to reduced fares on public transportation, tax exemptions, scholarship awards, and housing subsidies as well as a great number of other benefits the following is a list of some of the benefits that are available in the philippines to senior citizens number one medical assistance you are qualified to get financial support for medical care because you are a senior citizen you are free to make use of the following opportunities medical and dental care offered without charge in publicly funded hospitals and clinics free vaccines against the flu and pneumococcal disease medical and dental care provided at no cost in privately run clinics and hospitals number two transportation discount senior citizens are eligible for a reduced fare pricing on all public transportation options including buses jeepneys and taxis if you are unsure of whether or not to meet the requirements to be considered a senior citizen you can show your identification card and other proof of age to the driver or conductor one thing to note about this benefit is that senior citizens are required to present a legitimate form of identification such as an SSS or GSIS card or their senior citizen ID card. 
offers of reduced fares for public transit. Reductions are available for senior citizens on all normal paths and jeepney rides in addition to discounts on train and airplane prices. Taxi fares will be discounted. In addition, you, if you take a taxi in Metro Manila, you can get a discount of up to 50%, while in other major cities along the country, you can get a discount of up to 30%. Special advantages with purchasing direct dial phones, electric power service connections, and water supply services from government agencies such as Field Power Company, the National Power Corporation or NAPOPOR, Meralco and Mainila Water Services Incorporated. All senior citizens are eligible to receive tax exemption certificates. These certificates can be used to save money on the purchases of the aforementioned services. MWSI close open parenthesis. Number three is the recreation centers discount. If you are a senior citizen, you may be eligible for reduced admission prices at public venues such as parks, libraries, museums, and theaters. At the time that you purchase your ticket. You will be required to present your identification card at the counter. Number four is restaurant discount. Discounts are also available for older citizens at a variety of restaurants, including fast food chains. If you are over 60 years old, you may be eligible for discounts of up to 50% off the standard price and if you are over 70 years old you may be eligible for even greater discounts the following are examples of businesses that provide customers with this kind of discount bakeries such as goldilocks cafes such as starbucks dessert shops such as Magdolia food courts such as SM Mall of Asia and other food courts or other mall food courts. Number five, grocery discount. In supermarkets and grocery stores, senior citizens are eligible for a discount equal to 10% of the price of any food item. The amount of the discount varies from store to store. However, the vast majority of establishments provide a senior discount of some kind to all senior citizens regardless of how old they are. Discounts on basic commodities provided by the National Food Authority or NFA. Discounts on selected brands and selected items provided by selected stores. For example, Metro Bank offers a 500 discount for via for their Visa card holders every time they spend 5,000 in one purchase. This can be used to buy grocery and other necessities like food, clothes, and medicine. Discounts on selected days of the week or hours of the day. Senior citizens, say for example, some banks also offer discounts on specific items during the week, such as 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday, or 10 a.m. to 12 noon, Monday to Saturday only. Discounts for senior citizens who also have an insurance policy with Phil and Life Insurance Company Incorporated, or PLI offers a 5% discount on premiums paid if you are 65 years old or older. This is applicable to all PLI, to all PLI products except 
term life insurance and annuity plans. Number six, income tax exemption for minimum wage earners. If you are at least 60 years old and have a job, you should be aware that the Philippine government is providing special tax exemptions to senior citizens. These exemptions apply only to people who have jobs. If the sum of your early wages and your monthly gross income combined does not exceed the federally mandated minimum wage, the following applies to you. You are exempt from paying income taxes at all. Your income for tax purposes will be zero. This benefit extends to cover all the dependents regardless of whether or not they are employed and regardless of whether or not they generate income from investments such as stocks or banks. Number seven, training fee exemption on socioeconomic programs. Participation in socioeconomic activities that are designed to improve senior citizens' health, welfare, and well-being is actively encouraged among senior citizens. In addition to this, they are strongly urged to investigate the senior citizen assistance programmers that are offered by the government. Senior citizens who are interested in developing their basic computer abilities or taking a few short courses to broaden their soft skills are eligible for free training courses provided by the government. Number eight, free medical and dental services in government facilities. In public health facilities and clinics run by the government, senior citizens are eligible for free medical and dental care. In public health institutions, older persons are now able to receive medications, vaccines, and other services at a reduced cost thanks to the Department of Health or DOH, which made this possibility possible. In point of fact, this is one of the factors that contributes to the decision of a large number of Filipinos to take early retirement from their occupations. Dental services provided without charge in public health clinics. Services related to medical that are provided without charge in public hospitals. Services of a medical and dental nature provided at no cost by the government. Number nine, free flu and pneumococcal vaccinations for indigent senior citizens. Seniors who are low income and are at least 65 years old are eligible for free vaccines against influenza and pneumococcal disease from the government. You, you will be able to take advantage of this benefit if you go to the city hospital or barangay health center located within your district. You are not going to bring any kind of identification with you. Number 10, scholarships and financial assistance for seniors' education in public and private schools. Senior citizens are eligible for reduced or waived tuition fees at state universities, colleges, and vocational and technical institutions. Additionally, they have the opportunity to submit an application for scholarships that they are offered to senior students who have been accepted by these educational establishments but do not have the financial means to pay the required tuition costs. A scholarship program for senior citizens has also been established by the Philippine government and is known for the senior citizens Scholarship Program or SCSP. The goal of is the goal of this initiative is to provide assistance to senior citizens so that they can continue their education. 
In addition to this, one of the goals is to make chances available to them so that they can expand their professional expertise and knowledge base. Number 11, Retirement Benefits from SSS, GSIS, and PUG-EB. SSS, or Social Security System. The Social Security System, or SSS, is a pension fund that is owned and managed by the government and it provides retirement benefits to all Filipinos who have contributed at least 10 years of service in the private sector. Contributions to the fund are made by employers based on the employee's monthly salary. Number three, GSIS service insurance system. The government service insurance system, or GSIS, is a pension fund that is owned and managed by the government. It offers retirement benefits to all employees who have contributed at least 15 years of service in public sector with contributions made by employers based on an employee's monthly salary. This pertains to the Philippine Armed Forces, the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Civil Service Commission, and any and all other government entities such as public schools and universities, among others. Pag-ibig Fund In addition to being a welfare program for senior citizens, the Pag-ibig Fund is also owned and managed by the government. It offers housing loans of up to a million per loan applicant, as well as insurance products such as asset management plans that protect against the risk associated with old age. Number 12, express lanes for senior citizens in all government offices and commercial establishments. All government offices and commercial establishments should have express lanes for senior citizens. The senior citizen will be given priority to use these lanes. The purpose of having an express lane is to allow the elderly or senior citizens to move faster so they can finish their business or transaction in a shorter amount of time compared to the general public. Number 13, Feel Health Benefits for Senior Citizens. Senior citizens can use their memberships at hospitals, clinics, and other medical facilities by paying only 30% of the total bill. This is known as the co-payment rate that must be paid in accordance with your age bracket. 40% for adults, 50% for students and pregnant women, 60% for infants less than one year old, and 70% for persons with disability. If you're an adult, over 60 years old who has been diagnosed with cancer or tuberculosis or TB but do not want surgery yet, there's a form called Certification Against Surgery that allows you to receive cheaper medicines instead of going surgery right away. Six facts about senior citizen privileges you might not know. Number one, senior citizen law applies everywhere in the Philippines. There are many privileges and benefits available to senior citizens in the country. This includes reductions in the cost of health care expenses, funeral arrangements, transport fees, movie tickets, food and drink, and even hospitalization expenditures because the law is applicable everywhere in the Philippines. There is no need to inquire as to whether or not it is applicable at a particular place because it is the case either way. Number, number two, elders can get a senior citizen discount using any valid ID. In order for seniors to be eligible for the benefits granted by the Senior Citizen Act, they are required to provide their Senior Citizen Identification Card, which is issued by the Office of the Senior Citizen Affairs, or OSCA. 
even if they don't have it, they can still earn discount for being a senior citizen as long as they provide an ID that was given by the government and proves their age. Clients over the age of 65 do not have an ID issued by the OSCA may present any one of the following forms of identification that is considered to be valid. Number one, passport. Number two, SSSO. You need card, GSIS ID, driver's license, PRC ID, voters ID, postal ID. In violation of the law, in violation of the law, is any company that will only accept the senior citizen ID from the customers over the age of 60 or that will refuse to offer discounts to customers over the age of 60 who present another form of valid identification but will only accept the senior citizen ID from those customers. In such a scenario, older, older persons have the legal right to claim the discount that is justly theirs to begin with. Number three, an authorized representative may claim the 20% discount on the senior's behalf. When you reach particular age, there are several situations in which you may find that you are unable to personally qualify for their discounts. For instance, if you have an appointment booked to see a doctor the following week, but you also have an appointment scheduled to see your doctor this afternoon. It will be impossible for you to get a 20% discount on your visit to the doctor this afternoon. But don't be concerned. You have the option of delegating this responsibility to a representative of your choosing. Your authorized representative is eligible to get any additional discounts including free travel tickets or free entrance to activities such as concerts and sporting events. Number four, the Senior Citizen Act doesn't allow double discounts. Do or elderly folks qualify for any other discounts in addition to the discount of 20% they have get at hotels, restaurants, and other establishments when a senior buy something that is already on sale, they are only permitted to take advantage of one of, of the two discounts. The larger of the two discounts is the one that they are authorized to take advantage of. The Senior Citizens Act is to blame for this situation. The same holds true for elderly people who are afflicted with a disability of some kind, PWD. They are eligible for either discount for, for people with disabilities or for the discount for senior citizens but not both either one but not both other discounts will apply to them number five seniors enjoy vehicle coding exemption and free parking in certain cities it is common knowledge that other persons in the philippines are given preferential treatment by the various levels of government below and national level. Free birthday cakes and movies are two examples of this type of gifts. The ability to commute independently is one of the most useful advantages that comes with getting older. Senior citizens are affordable in privilege in some cities such as Manila and Makati or utilizing their numbers for both driving and riding as passengers in public transportation. In addition, older adults who are enrolled can take advantage of free parking in a variety of locations, including Quezon City, Cebu, and Muntin Lupa City. Senior. Number six, seniors are always a priority in Greece. There are designated lanes for older folks to use a number of businesses including banks, grocery stores, and quick service restaurants, among others. However, in order to comply with the law, they are required to put the requirements of senior citizens first. When a cashier, bank teller, or government officials make ask a senior citizen to serve you first, 
they are merely following the law and so and doing what is required of them they are not being impolite or thought less in any way last part is conclusion with the increasing number of senior citizens in the philippines it is important to know what you are entitled to as a senior citizen this list gives an overview of some of the benefits of her benefits for senior citizens as well as how to apply for them a discount for elderly citizens is given as a sign of respect and gratitude for the many years of service that seniors have been given to this country this is one way society can express its respect and concern for them in this way for businesses make it a point to provide your senior citizens with the privileges and savings that are rightfully theirs and for families and relatives of this population group make sure that you assist other seniors in availing of these benefits provided for them by the government with that being said make sure to share this with your loved ones and to anyone who might benefit from this guide okay more or less it's just the same parang a uh, review on it review or refresher okay thank you so much for watching all of you who are seniors and those who care for their elderly i hope i have contributed a little again god bless see you on my next video keep smiling bye bye